Great. So let's take a look at the demo. So what are we seeing on the screen right now? Well, this is an app running on this Galaxy Nexus phone. Right now, it's not doing anything. I wanted to do something exciting with the functionality that I had available, but I was pressed for time, so I eventually ended up adding a Do Something Exciting button right there. So there are two buttons in this app. First one, which lets you log into the MIT servers, alerts you that you need to take the card and touch the phone, which is this card. It's a NFC, it's a MyCard Classic card, and it has a OAuth credential burned onto it. And then it also has this button to do something exciting, but it doesn't let you until you're logged into the servers. So when I touch the card to the phone, the phone detects it, logs into the servers, and then the phone lets me do something exciting. Hooray. Something exciting has been done. Yes. That is outstanding. Well done. Yes, so um, what it actually does there is it's talking to the card through the Android's NFC API, and then um, it takes a credential off the card, which is just a string of tokens for OAuth. I got it off of MIT's reality analysis site. Um, and then it takes that, submits it to the site with a special dialog. The dialog sends back a JSON file that says what user that key is valid for. And so then, and if the feedback matches what the app expects, and says, OK, you're logged in, and then it lets you use the exciting functionality of the app. Presto change up. Right, and that is directly what we were attempting to show in the proof of concept for the summer, which was, can we get an OAuth token from the MIT Reality Analysis Trust Framework server onto one of these RFID cards, the same kind of card that we use in the subway in Boston, the Charlie card, the same actually kind of card that we use for student IDs and faculty IDs at MIT, same kind of card we use at my workplace to get in and out of the building. Mm -hmm. And could we then use it to log into, for example, a website or an app or some online service mm -hmm. represented here by the handshake and the protocol and the authentication that you just did? So the answer is yes, we can, and yes, we did. So obviously there's a lot more to explore with this convergence of digital and physical identity. And I'm very glad to be able to say that based on the good work that you've done so far this summer, we'll be more than happy to extend that internship into the fall semester. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and great work. Thanks.